Hello guys, uh, welcome back again for one more review and today it's a review with paints, okay? Uh, Mick has released this uh, fantastic set, uh, the Flesh Tone set, okay? It's uh, with six colors and what I saw it, they are really, really, really good, okay? You can do a very good thing with this. Uh, let me try to show you guys and as you can see it's really good um, you can see here uh, you can see some of these uh, figures painted with these colors so if you guys have a little patience with this set you can have a very good uh, figure so let me open this and try to show you what is inside guys so as you can see we got here all the colors so they are mixed and I think you can see the tones so like always I do on the sets I'm going to paint uh, these on spoons and you can see the colors okay so guys let's start and so let's put this here uh, light skin stone basic skin stone okay warm skin stone we got here burnt sand we got the red leather so this is good for leather too guys and we got the burnt brown so it's a good brown for some things uh, like rust uh, other stuff okay so if you like a, a brown dark brown so it's a good way to go so let's not take too much delay and and let's paint this uh, right away and the first one it's going to be the skin light light skin tone okay it's Amo Mig 115 okay so let's shake it and like I always said we got here the ball inside so you must shake and then you when you hear the ball it's losing it's so the mix is almost good So I see. Okay. Let me open this to have a little air. So this is, I think it's very good. Shake it. And let's drop this. I'm going to use a 03 needle, okay? And this is a, a cheap airbrush, okay? So it's not an expensive brush, airbrush. So you can see how it goes. So let's put here just a little thinner on this because this is very it's more thick than the others so you got to put your thinner okay so let's clean here and let's mix this so I put three drops of the, this and uh, let's start painting so I'm going to put this spoon aside okay and let's start the first one okay so you see what I am doing it's just like a fog okay and when you got this done stop okay you can leave this to dry by itself or you can accelerate the process with the air dryer okay and we are ready for the second layer 
okay don't try to put all on the first okay because sometimes you said these paints are not good and they are good the only problem if you don't put it right it's not so good okay so stop you you see some black okay same thing And we are ready for another coat. And don't try to put the paint, too much paint, on the same spot, okay? Okay, I think it's enough for what I'm like to show you. So guys, uh, for the light skin, skin tone, I think it's very good. Okay. This is a uh, very good for the highlights, okay? So let's put this here and let's grab another first thing just clean a little my airbrush okay so guys just a second so as you can see it's very easy to clean this okay <coughs> So yes, the first one, the first color, the light skin tone, it's a little thick, so guys, it's good. So let's start checking this, and on this you can start, and I can tell you guys, this is really thick too. So this is our so, uh, so thick, the ball, you don't hear the ball, okay? It's, um, I like to put uh, some um, paint steel balls on, the, on my paints, it's not, uh, not from me, and there are some, you don't hear the ball, okay? It's different, if you are using other like this, you can hear the ball, but these ones are very thick. So they are ready. And I'm going to put here. So as you can see, it's very thick. And for the first one I saw it, I think this is very... Um, high pigment. So... Okay, I put two... Three drops of the thinner and three drops of the color. Okay. So we are ready for the first one and let's start the second one, sorry. So this is a very much more pink. Okay, stop. And let's put here some heat. Okay, if you don't have an air dry, you can just leave that to dry. It's dry quickly. And let's go again. Ok. 
Okay. So it's like I always say, the colors, you don't have to say, this brand, uh, the, the paints are more thick and the other, the other brand it's more thin, okay? It's not like that, it's the, um, it's the pigments, uh, it's different, okay? If you know this kind of pigments, normally they are more thick, so you got a more thick um, mix. Uh, the important thing if you are using airbrush you just use uh, acrylic thinner and you got the problem resolved okay so we got the basic skin tone okay painted on the spoon so let me show you the difference okay it's very different guys so basic skin tone we got it so now let's go for the warm skin tone okay this one this is more liquid guys i can feel it when i mix it's much different and guys for a good painting job if you are using a brush guys just mix very well the paint it's the the most important thing you must do to have a very good paints okay so this you can hear very different so let's clean here the the airbrush So guys if you see my lives you know it's always like this cleaning my airbrush so you see this on video i'm just want you guys to see like real okay so i'm not cutting anything off the of this and you can see how i do it so and yes this is very thick too okay it's a little more thin than the others but i think it's good so one two three four three of drops of color so it's a, a 50 50 mixer okay so let me mix this and let's go and paint this one whoops let me just do here something so let's start fighting So let's do that fog. Okay, it's up to you guys. Uh, for me, I think it's best and I think it's the best way for all the paints. And especially for some brands, this is the right way and normally you can it's better you to paint in three two or three layers and it's 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 much better guys so on the second layer i can go more thick okay without any problem Let's dry it. And so this is a very warm color. Okay, I like it. Uh, let's try to show you. And I think it's really good. 
warm skin tone okay so let's show you what do you think guys so this is the basic basic this is the warm and this is for the highlights okay now it's time for burnt sand okay so it's time again to clean the airbrush just a little okay because we are going for the the lightest for the dark so it's not going to make uh, too much difference so I just drop a little of air brush cleaner and then a second just water and it's work nice so let's grab this paint and let's start shaking this and this is I see it's more thin so I shake it Beep. So let's open and let's put some drops. Okay, it's thick one. So guys, this is a little different from the other uh, paints from me. This is more thick, okay? So guys use always a uh, thin always if even if you are going to the things you are going to paint with a brush so thin okay it's better because it's it's you're on the spoon you must put layers if you put if you paint in just one tone it's not it's not good okay so just spend a little more time and do it right Okay, so let's go again to the other spoon and this is this color it's lots and lots of different so this is called this color you guys are going to see sometimes you see some figures painting uh, with these more dark tones okay and you guys saying oh, what that color so guys here it is it's the burnt sand okay and this color too it's very good for uh, when you're making a, on the diorama uh, a tank it's it's it's, it's burnt okay this is a good color to put not it's not a good color it's a good tone to you to put on the model too okay so my models i like to have a, three four tones okay different tones and it makes all the difference so let's paint the rest of the spoon and i like a lot of this color and okay you see it in the 50 50 mixture it leaves so well out of the airbrush and yes it's done the color it's good it swims nice guys I am doing two uh, two layers but if you do a third layer it's very uh, it's better okay and as you can see with the air dryer it's dry very quickly and the tone it's really good guys You see it it's very good if you are doing uh, a more dark uh, person like uh, guys uh, lives on on desert or Middle East it's it's very good to put there so let's put this let's try <laughs> and I'm going to try to show you the other colors okay 
so you can see it really really awesome so let's put this here and let's grab the next one it's the red leather okay so red leather so it's a good color you to use so this is not so thick you can hear the ball okay so this is sometimes you guys you need to know your paint okay before you paint uh, any kit any anything okay just make tests and when you go and paint what you want you are going ready okay you, and like that you don't have any surprise i paint on these spoons but uh, i sometimes i paint on on the plastic dishes okay there are some plastic dishes for picnics uh one of the sides it's very smooth okay so it's what we want i put some primer and then i make some some tests with this color with the colors and guys if it's if any brand okay i make always a test before i paint okay with time you start uh, knowing your paints and when you are going to make your work you never fail okay almost you never fail <laughs> So just here cleaning. So just sorry. And uh, let's put red leather. So now this I'm just going to put one drop of the thinner okay because this is very thin the, it's not, no, no, not completely very thin okay but from the others it's very different guys just a second guys Mick Jimenez have colors for you making your vehicles with rust but there are some colors they are really uh, really good for making rust and this this one it's the good one of the good ones okay if you mix this with uh, the chipping color okay the chipping color it's really 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 good for this okay and we got uh, the rot rotten brown okay it's really good too for this and guys you got lots of tones you can put on your vehicles to put this better okay this came out very nice without a problem just clean right away and I'm just going to dry that uh, with the air dryer so guys let me just remove the paint here okay so guys normally these videos are a little more longer I don't cut anything of the this because uh, I want you guys to see real, okay? Not with editing, nothing edit, okay? So I just stop one time because my camera, uh, I'm using a, a photograph camera and just let me uh, to re record about 15 to 16 minutes. So I must uh, stop and then and wreck again. So you see it you can hear the paint ball so you can see the difference of this color okay
So let's grab the last one and burnt brown red. This is a very good color. I'm just going to show you. I think this one I don't need any thinner. So or I'm going to need yes I'm going to need it's better you guys you, you when you put you start using the airbrush you know if you feel if it is very thick or not okay now it starts leaving okay before it's not leaving out of the airbrush okay first passage so I accelerate here the process with this Let's go again. Okay, dokie. And guys, we are ready and this is the last color. And it's very good. You can see the difference from the other. So very good color. So let's display this. And I want you guys to see the difference. Okay, we got here the six colors. Uh, let me try to approach more, and you can see, guys, it's much difference. Very bright to very dark. So, guys, you got here a good set uh, for making your uh, skin tones okay on your figures. So, guys, if you don't have one of these, grab okay. I'm trying this for me and I know for me it's good it works for me and if you don't try it you don't know it okay so here it is uh, one more review guys I hope you guys enjoy it if you have any questions if you have any doubts if uh, you can ask me okay you can go here on the video or on the on the Facebook okay you don't have any problem so if I know, I will go in to answer. And as always, thank you very much for watching. And if you like, thumbs up. If you don't have, subscribe. Subscribe and click on that bell to receive the, all the news from my channel. And guys, thank you very much for supporting me. Bye, guys.